as part of today, I had asked some people to help sort of give a short tribute to Marty and all he's done. And I'm starting with a current student, Alexandra Lear, who's right in front of me, is the president of our Sports Law Society. And for this purpose, it's great because she's also a current intern of Marty's. And I tried to calculate how many students have been your intern or research student over the years. I was one of them. Many people in this room were one of them. And it has to also be in the thousands, I'm sure. Um, so I think it's a great start to start with Alexandra. Hi everyone, um, my name is Alexandra Lear and I'm currently a 3L um, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. So one of the reasons why I came to Marquette Law School was because I was so drawn to the idea of the National Sports Law Institute and the ability that it would have to provide me with uh, people such as Professor Greenberg who have such a distinguished level of expertise in the sports industry. And through the ability I've had to intern for him, I've learned quite a lot, which I'm very thankful for. And also, he's given me the opportunity to view a variety of different contracts in the professional sports realm, which is something I communicated to him that I was very interested in learning more about. And as he mentioned, without his help and others to form this program, it would not be here today. And I probably would not be standing here, as I cannot stand the winter weather. But <laughs> despite that, it has been a good decision through and through, and I'm glad that I chose to come here. And I am very thankful to Professor Greenberg for um, taking me on as an intern at the start of this past summer to now, and just thank you for the opportunity to learn from your brilliant mind and all your expertise. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Uh, next, I'm going to ask an alum of this program who actually, as Marty exits full-time teaching with us, she has started this semester, Professor Meg Pirix, who is an attorney with Milwaukee Brewers, teaching a course with Jill Ingalls from the Milwaukee Bucks, who took both of Marty's classes while she was in law school as well. Meg. Thank you. Uh, professor Greenberg, you have been a phenomenal professor, mentor, and friend to so many people in this room, myself included. As we all already know, or will soon find out after listening to these tributes, you have paved the way for generations of law students, past, present, and future, to find success in the practice of sports law. I know I certainly would not be the person, lawyer, and now professor I am today without your work, dedication, support, and influence. For everything you've done, not only for this program, for this school, for this institute, but also for me, I say thank you. Thank you and congratulations on finally, maybe, being able to enjoy retirement from teaching. You deserve it. Thank you, Professor Pirix. Next, someone you already met, Professor Matt Mitten. Well, I've had the pleasure of being here 23 years of the 50 that uh, Marty's been at Marquette. And when I think about it, it's hard to believe it's legacy time for you, Marty. And three things come to mind. Um, one would be innovative, you know, coming up with the idea of, you know, the National Sports Law Institute. And I know it was, it was uphill sledding, no, no doubt about it. There was, you know, some opposition to it. Um, but starting the NSLI, the idea of a sports law review, the Marquette Sports, uh, used to be journal, now Marquette Sports Law Review is the oldest and I think the most prestigious uh, in the United States. It's great going to cast conferences and hearing colleagues from different parts of the world say, hey, I'm glad you guys publish it. It gives me a chance to learn about um, U.S. sports law. So second would be dedicated to um, excellence. I think you saw the idea that all of our sports law courses um, provide readily transferable knowledge and skills to our students. For example, your uh, sports venues um, workshop, I remember how excited you were when you came up with um, that idea, and we said, yeah, let's uh, go for it. The, the other thing is your publications. You know, you've done you know, a number of articles, your books, um, stadium game, those, those things. Um, and, and I think the fact that you got out and knew so many people in the sports industry has led to a lot of employment opportunities for our students. And then finally, third, the hallmark of Jesuit education is that it be 
transformative. And, and no doubt what you started has transformed um, Marquette Law School. It's, as you mentioned, led to the um, increased diversity of our student body. We have students from, you know, really all over, increased our uh, gender, racial, ethnic diversity. Um, certainly has increased the uh, depth and quality of our sports law program and played a significant role in, you know, the law school becoming a national uh, law school. So I just want to say in conclusion how proud I am to have been your faculty colleague for so many years um, to be your successor as uh, director of the Marquette Sports Law Institute and finally law longtime friend. So even though you're retiring, I know that you'll still be with us and uh, we'll be calling on you often for advice, guidance, and hopefully to guest lecture. So thanks, Marty. Thank you, Matt. Next, I'm going to ask our Dean, Dean Joseph Kearney, to come forward. Marty, Matt met the Pope a couple of weeks ago, and when that trip was being arranged, it was sports law related, his only stricture to the president's office was that he could go uh, so long as the trip to Rome uh, did not conflict with this event. So uh, you ought to know that. Good afternoon, everyone. I do have a small role, but a great privilege this afternoon. It is essentially to thank Marty, Professor Greenberg, on behalf of the entire Marquette University Law School community for his 50 years of service on our faculty. I certainly won't try to capture or summarize that service, not least because we can see in our current students and alumni the example that you engendered in so much a better way than my words could ever capture. Yet I would like to present you something, Marty, reflecting our gratitude and estimation. If you wouldn't mind bringing that up. Marty, would you come up for a moment, please? Stay here. I want to uh, go over with Marty. So this is probably too well wrapped uh, for presentation purposes, uh, but I think we're just going to rip off the covering, and we have plenty of time. I'm going to let Marty take a, a quick look at it, uh, and then I will take it back, but only very briefly, uh, so that I can describe it for everyone. So let me uh, describe it for everyone. It is a, a plaque. Marty, you can, you can look at it. Uh, you can, uh, uh, this is a plaque uh, with the uh, Homes of Marquette University Law School, and it reflects uh, Mackey Mansion, uh, our home as of 1910, and the law building as it would have originally been known. Uh, we knew it as Sensenbrenner Hall as it was renamed in the 1940s, and of course since 2010, 100 years after Mackey Mansion, Eckstein Hall, and it is dedicated to Professor Martin J. Greenberg uh, for his 50 years on our faculty with grateful recognition from all of us here. So uh, none of us, uh, not even Marty, uh, knew Mackey Mansion, uh, and yet how much better truly Sensenbrenner Hall and Eckstein Hall have been for your service here, Marty. We are so grateful to you. And please accept this as something, perhaps to build towards Paul's remarks, uh, that you can take with you, uh, reflecting your 50 years of service on our faculty. We are so grateful. Thank you, Joe. Um, so I met Marty about 30 years ago when I started law school. There was this thing called the Sports Law Institute I heard about when I was an undergrad. That's when it opened here. And I called the law school. When I got to law school, I went to the main office in the old building and asked, hey, where's the sports law office? Nobody knew. Um, 
I asked, how do I contact anyone in charge of the sports law program? Nobody knew. Um, so eventually I found Dean Mankowski, and he gave me Marty's number, and I called his law office, and one day I went over there. It was downtown at this point, and I sat down in his office waiting for him, and he came in and put a huge box on my lap. And the box, when I opened it, it looked like a crazy person had put it together. It had basically magazine articles ripped out of magazines, newspaper articles ripped out of newspapers, lots of writing in Sharpie. He used to sign my checks in Sharpie. Um, and he said, okay, I need you to write an article about a college coaching contract issue. I'm doing this article, and I need help with it from you. Um, I had never met Marty. I was like, it was October of law school. Uh, that is what Marty has done through this program, though. He gives opportunities to our students and people connect with this program sight unseen. If you're at Marquette, you're worthy of an opportunity. That's always been Marty's perspective. That's tried to be what my perspective is for the sports law program as well. I've taught, I co-teach the sports venues class with Marty this semester. I've taught it a few times with you and taught the agency course as well. Um, I even got Marty to teach a course online during COVID. I think it was the first time you bought a laptop probably. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and I've done that for a few years, but I've also guest taught in his classes for probably 25 years. I took his classes as well when I was a student. And something, and he asked me this during this semester as well, was pull me aside and say, do you think the students are enjoying this class and learning anything? You know, I teach legal research, so my answer is usually no, I don't. <laughs> They're not enjoying this class. But I know when he's saying that, you saw his philosophy, that's really, he means that. His other philosophy besides opportunity is the students are taking something away from this. This isn't just us talking. This isn't just worthless. This is something, and he will evaluate himself as I try to evaluate myself by what are the students getting out of this, not just what am I teaching them. Um, so, you know, Marty, uh, we all say, you know, we couldn't be here with Marty. Well, literally, Marty hired me. Um, I was Marty's intern. Then I was Marty's research assistant. Then I was a consultant at his law firm. Then I became a consultant at the Institute, and then I've stayed here since then. Um, so I literally would not be here if I hadn't met Marty back in 1992 and he gave me that box. By the way, he used to bring boxes of work on Christmas Day and leave them outside on my porch at my parents' house because uh, he'd tell me, oh, it's not a Jewish holiday, so I'm still working. Uh, so really, this program, all the students here, I know you haven't all had the chance to take Marty. You will still see him. He will still, when we continue the venues course, you're going to have to guess lecture because I can't cover all that material. Uh, He'll still be involved, but understand that without his vision, back in really 1988, when it was starting to be discussed after going to a conference in Florida, we wouldn't exist. So it's not light that I would say that we wouldn't. And remember, Marty started as a teacher, a faculty member at this law school. Marty didn't start as a consultant, as an agent, anything. That came after he was already teaching at this law school. So we really want to recognize that, honor that. It's been 50 years. For me, it's been 30-some years. Um, I really to recognize this, try to do two things, and give me a second as this one opens up. First of all, outside of our office now, there's this plaque, recognizing Marty. So every time you walk into the Sports Law Institute, this will be there, will be visible to everyone. Um, we could take pictures with it, I couldn't really bring it over here, Marty, so. Um, the second, Marty, if you wanna come back up. On September 19th, and I didn't tell Marty why, I had someone come take pictures of our class. And by the way, this was the only day this semester Marty hasn't worn a suit. So I'm sure you're very happy with that. <laughs> um, and it really was, I didn't tell the class either, to remember that. Remember that 50th year, that final semester. So that is for you. We will have a copy of that in our office as well because that will stay in the Institute as long as I'm here and hopefully in perpetuity. What this says is honor of Martin J. Greenberg and his contributions as a law school faculty member for 50 years and as founder of the National Sports Law Institute. So thank you, Marty. Marty's been my mentor, so he's gonna have to still be available to me, um, as I'm sure he will still be available to us. Thank you. And with that, Marty already said his thank yous. We kind of did that. Um, so I'm not going to make him come back up here, but I just want to finish off some things for the conference. Uh, this has been a conference that, in all honesty, I'd forgotten how much of a struggle it is to put a conference together in person because I haven't done it for three years. Um, you'd think after doing it for about 30, I would know, but I'm glad it seems to work out. I'm glad you seem to enjoy it. The presentations, the content was fabulous, I thought. Um, thank you to our conference sponsors, Foley and Lardner, State Park, Wisconsin, 
Marty, because without that, we couldn't do it in this way. We definitely couldn't do it where most people were attending at no cost to you. Um, it just wouldn't be possible because obviously the event itself is not free. As Marty would do and as I'm going to do, I want to thank the students who helped out as well. And if they're in here, I want them to be embarrassed, so I want you to stand up. Um, I'm just going to do first names because your last name, it would just take forever. So Alex, Andrew, Andy, Anisha, and not everyone's in here, obviously. Austin, Abigail, Clara, Darius, Eric W. and Eric P., Gabe, Joe, Josephine, John, Kate, Kyle, Levi, Lauren, Madeline, Maddie, Maggie, Michelle, Mike, Monica M. and Monica R., Nick, Patrick, Paul, and Sam, and then special note to Courtney, because what I would do with this, Courtney kind of helps out with me with the Institute, and I would send her stuff on Monday and say, could you get me that by next Monday, and she'd get it to me by the first Wednesday. So it allowed me to be able to do stuff for this conference that I wouldn't have done otherwise. But to all of you, thank you very much. Um, this is why you're here, so I appreciate it. And the only other uh, loophole is the CLE credit. So if you're an attorney here, you just have to drop your name tag out at that desk and they will give you a certificate of attendance. That's your record. Um, you know in most states now you file yourself anyway, so that's a record. I will keep a record of who, who is here as well um, as needed. Uh, I assume we'll be doing this in person again next fall. We'll see, Matt and I will have to talk about that. So up to see you there, but we will in the spring do another event. We'll be online at that point. And the focus will be legal ethics, definitely, legal ethics and sports. So if you would like to contribute, I'll send out something. Please let me know. It's been a pleasure. Thank you all for joining us today.